Uh, he was pulling my hip, and I was swinging away to sell the call, made contact with him. Um, as you know, I'm not one to apologize for things I meant to do, but I do apologize to you, sir, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Uh, I sell calls with my arms. I don't fall or to sell a call. I don't, I'm not a flopper. So I was just selling the call because he was grabbing me and pulling my hip back. So I spun away, and unfortunately, I hit him. And so, like I said, I apologize to you, Seth, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Yeah. I mean, I, as I've said before, any replay, you know, if I go look at every replay of everything, um, a replay is they, it's never going to look good, you know, but. Like I said, I know my intentions. My intentions were to sell the call. Um, and you know, I also don't think I'm an accurate enough puncher to do a full 360 and, and, and connect with someone. Um, so it's unfortunate. The last time when you got suspended a couple of weeks ago, they, they, they said that there's a history of unsportsmanlike acts was a factor in your suspension. Do you anticipate that happening again? I don't know. Um, we'll see. Like I said, I know what my intentions were, um, and that's really all I can speak on. Kevin, after the last suspension, you talked about how important it was to be there for your teammates. And Steve made a point today saying they need you to, to win games. I, yeah, I'm aware. Um, and like I said, if I intended to do that, you know, then I'd feel awful about not being there. Um, but my intentions were just to sell the file. And he was, as you can see, as I'm posting up, he's moving forward. So as I'm moving back, he's still coming forward. And um, like I said, it's unfortunate. I didn't, I, again, I apologize to Nurkic uh, <clears throat> because I, I hit him. So I do apologize to him, because, and I didn't intend to hit him. So I think you guys have known me long enough. If I intended to do something, I'm not apologizing for it. Um, but I did make contact with him, so I apologize because it wasn't my intention. Do you think you deserve this flagrant two? Or that's part of the it's, it's a hard hit, you know. So um, if you listen to the definition of a flagrant two, it's an excessive hit, you know. So I can't argue that it was a flagrant two um, because I did make contact, you know. Uh, so now. I said my intent wasn't to make contact, so if that's a part of the definition, then I know for sure it wasn't. But I made contact, and it was it was it was hard contact. So I think the flagrant two was warranted. Uh, it's a hit above the net, um, or at least I think the net somewhere over here, um, and it's hard contact. So that would meet the definition for sure of of a flagrant two. But as I said, it wasn't my intention um, to make that, that contact, any contact at all, really. Like I said, I was spinning away and trying to sell the file. And, but yeah, I think it definitely meets, you know, the definition for sure. Um, but my intent wasn't to hit them. Jim, I understand you said the, the intent wasn't there, but with this team's small margin for error and where you are now a third into the season, do you think there needs to be some sort of alteration to how you approach these situations to not put the team in a situation where you may not be available? Yeah, but that's not that situation. Um, that situation is me trying to sell a foul call. So on most situations, yes, I'd agree with you. Uh, can't put the team in a bad spot. But I didn't intend to put the team in a bad spot. I intended to get a foul. And I made contact with them. So, uh, yes, in most situations, and you know, to Steve's point, of course, I need to be there for us to win. I understand that, which is why I haven't been arguing with Ruff since I've been back. I haven't done any of those things because I do understand that. You know, I haven't gotten into it with any players um, since I've been back because I do understand that. Unfortunately, bad luck. Um, trying to draw a foul and I made contact with them. But this ain't those same things. Uh, I'll be the first to tell you anytime I intend to do something, um, anytime something was wrong, the, the turnout was wrong, but that wasn't my intention. So, yes, um, to answer your question, I, 
but I haven't changed my approach on how I approach things. But that's not – that wasn't the same thing. I was trying to draw a foul. I accidentally made contact with him, and it was uh, – again, I'm swinging away. Like, he's holding my hip. I don't think – I don't know if any of y'all ever play against nurturers, but he's strong as And so I'm trying to just spin away out of him holding my hip like this, and, and my momentum continues forward and, and hits him. So uh, not quite the the bad situations that I've – put my team in before, um, this wasn't that. Just accidentally made contact with him trying to sell a file. Grandma, what did you think about the, the rotation tweaks Steve made, taking, you know, taking Andrew and Moon out of the lineup to start the second half and then not closing with Clay? Uh, I mean, Steve told us that, that in the first day of camp, uh, really, was it the first day of camp? It could have been before camp uh, that, you know, we have a very deep team, and he's going to go with the players that, that are playing well. Um, you know, but I was minus 15. So, you know, you look at <laughs> – excuse me. You look at our bench, they're all pluses down there. So, um, so I probably would have got benched too had I not – had had the event not happen because, you know, it's clear um, we were struggling. So, and yet, you know, Clay's plus four uh, on the night. So, um, it's not something that I'm shocked by because you know you're trying to find a rhythm, you're trying to win games, and just trying to go with go with the guys that are playing well and producing. So I don't look too far into um, who's benched or. What not? Uh, you're just trying to find lineups that works, and I respect, you know, Steve's calls on that. And your pitch was just asked about the about the play, and he said um, that brother needs help. What's your response to that? Respect. I still know what my intentions were, but respect. I think we all need help. I don't think any of us are too perfect, so. Respect. But I'll, I'll tell him the same thing I just told you. I'm going to apologize to him, and I, you know, I didn't intend to hit him. So, but he has a right to feel how he want to feel about it, and I'm not going to sit here and try to go back and forth on how he feels about it. It's on him. You've been a guy in the past, you know, when, when Steve says, hey, we're going to, like in the playoffs last year, right, come back, and hey, we're going to start looming over here. You're going to come off the bench, instances like that. As you just was said, you've always been very – open to that, go with the flow, okay with that. For other guys, I mean, Clay was just talking to us and how he said it was very strange for him not to close and look visibly upset on the bench. How, I know you're not inside Clay's head, but how does a guy who, how do you, how do you check your, your ego and your pride sometimes in, the, in those moments just for what has to happen to win? Oh, well, I don't think, um, you know, I don't think anyone's overly worried about someone being upset that they're not playing because we're competitors. You you work ultimately to play these games and put the a great product on the floor and play great um, because I mean that's the job right like so I don't think anyone's overly worried about someone being upset that they're not playing um, because we're all competitive you know but I mean as far as ego goes. Um, you know, egos always have to be checked on a team because it's a team sport and it's made up of individuals. And, the, you know, the goal is always to make the sum of those parts work together. And, you know, if sometimes it goes better than others. Um, and that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But I think, you know, for Clay, I just – and for anybody in this situation – the number one goal for everyone just has to be to win. Um, whether that's you're playing or you're not playing, the number one goal of a team in order for a team to be successful is it has to be to win the game. And you figure out everything else after. But I don't think Clay's ever had to deal with that. And so your first time dealing with that is different, you know? And your reaction 
you never know how you're going to react to something like that until you go through it, you know. And so uh, that's foreign territory for Clay. I don't think anyone's mad that he was upset about it. Um, you don't want somebody to just go sit there and like, oh, it don't matter. I'll, you, know, you know, you want guys that's, that's going to compete. Do you expect these lineup decisions, closing decisions to be more common? I know you're looking at the plus minus tonight, but obviously there's been a lot of trends recently that have kind of led to this moment. Yeah, I think it'll continue for sure. Um, because again, you're just trying to find the lineups that works. Uh, you're trying to find the lineups that that um, that ultimately mesh and, mesh and give you the best chance to win. And sometimes that can be uh, like who you're facing as well. You know, some match up, some guys match up differently, or better, or worse, with certain teams and. You know, so I think that'll that'll play a role in it too. You know, it's it's not just I don't think it's some set in stone thing. Just kind of trying to figure this thing out on the fly, and you know, the different lineups that you try. If you find one that's working, you go with it. Clearly, we did. Um, BP was plus eighteen. Dario was plus twenty one. JK was plus thirteen. CP was plus twelve. So. You know, it's not like we're just looking at something and it's like, oh, that didn't make sense. Like, clearly it made sense. Those guys were playing really well. Um, so I, I don't expect it to be like, oh, one specific thing. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I do expect that whoever's playing best is going to be on the floor. Do you, last one. Do you, um, the, the league, I assume, will probably reach out to you tomorrow. Do you expect to have a conversation? With yeah, for sure. Um you know, and I'll have a conversation. And I'll tell them the same thing I told you, you know. Uh, wasn't an intentional thing. Did I make contact? Yes, of course. We all can see that. But I didn't set out to do a 360 punch. You go punch somebody, you turn around and punch. Not a, a 360. So we'll see.